All right, I wasn't going to talk about this, but I guess I will. Uh, you know that I know that there's a rat in the house, and we have tried regular snap shut rat traps. I bought a rat zapper and I tried that. I finally got really mad because the rat is literally chewing on things and he's eating a hole in the floor and he ate part of the sole off of Brandon's tennis shoe and he chewed on his cell phone last night. So I said okay enough's enough. I hate using them but I went and got some of those glue traps which is a horrible way for anything to die but I just decided the thing had to go and I bought a poison block and I put it in a place where I think there's a hole where they can go down into the basement. So last night, the rat got into the house again and did not even get anywhere near the glue traps, although I put him in a place where I'm sure he's been hanging out. So now I'm mad. And uh, I was gonna go out and work on the rat rod, but I think my, what, what I'll do is, is a mess under that couch where he's been hanging out up under there. I'm gonna clean that up again, put the glue strips down and kind of go around the house and try and figure out where he's coming in at. I'm thinking if I could figure out exactly where he's coming in at, I could put a glue strip down where he couldn't get in without crossing it, and that way I would catch him. So that's kind of what I'm messing with right now. Okay, Charlie, it's over. You can come back. I don't think Charlie likes the vacuum cleaner too much. That's not surprising. At least I got that kind of cleaned out. We'll clean it better once we kill the little mother. He is eating a pair of Brandon's headphones. He chewed on his cell phone. And he's taking some nibbles out of the cord. He seems to be focusing in on Brandon's stuff. I don't know why. He's taking a bite out of his shoe. He's taking a bite out of his cell phone, out of his cell phone cord, and he's eating his headphone thing. So, I don't know. All I know is the little guy's got to die. So, tonight I'm going to go around the house and everywhere I see an opening, for example, there's a little tiny opening up under here. I don't think it's big enough for a rat to get through. I'm gonna set one there. I got one in here in the bathroom. There's a uh, opening next to the bathroom sink, which if he could come up from underneath the sink where the pipe is, I can see where he could get in the house. And I put that poison trap in there last night. There's so much other junk in here. I didn't really want to pull it all out. I've got a little poison trap that's got a glass window so I can see if it's been nibbled on. So, I hope it does get nibbled on. I want that little mother to die, I'm just saying. Uh, I thought about, you know, using the peppermint oil trick, but I don't want to just run him out of the house and have him start living in another part of the house or in the basement. I want him dead. I've had it with him. So, okay, I'm gonna get off of that. Maybe I will go work on the rat rod. It looks like a nice sunny day for it. Okay, okay. And I'll empty the garbage. In Here's an example of what that little booger's getting into. He's got one of Charlie's toys here. He's got these pieces of paper, paper towels and this paper. He's drug up under the couch. I guess he's thinking he's gonna make himself a nest under there. But that ain't gonna happen. So, uh, all I know is he's gotta go.